everyone back with uh, the book of Haggai. Uh, chapter 1 talks about the command to rebuild the temple. That's what it says. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, and the word, uh, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet to, to Zerubbabel the son of Shilti, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehoshadik, Je- and uh, the high, pri- high priest. Thus says the Lord of hosts, These people say the time has not yet come to build the house of the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. It, is it is it a, a time for you to, for you yourselves to dwell in your panel houses, while this house lies in ruins? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts: Consider your ways. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you have you eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages does so or does so to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your way, go up to the hills and bring wood and build the house, that I may take pleasure in it, and that I may be glorified, says the Lord. So what God's pretty much saying here is he's saying, and how dare y'all build your own houses, but yet I don't have a house to myself. He goes, How dare you, you know, how dare you build houses for y'all, but for yourselves, but y'all, y'all but you will not build a house for me. So he so he pretty much commands them to stop building building houses and go out and get wood and all other furnishings to build um, the second temple, which which was God's house at this time. So um, moving on, it says this. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways, go to the hills and bring wood and build a house, that I may take pleasure in it, that I may be glorified, says the Lord. You look for much, and behold, it came too little. And when you brought and when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why? Because the Lord declares the Lord of hosts, because of my house that lies in ruins. Well, each of you... Uh, busies himself with his own house. Basically what, I was, basically what I just said. God was mad that they were building their own houses, but they were not building his house, his second temple. So he, order, so he ordered them to stop building their own houses and build his house, which was the second temple. It says, um, therefore, uh, yeah, therefore, the heavens above you have withheld the dew, and the earth has withheld its, pro- has, uh, withheld its produce. So, so God um, pretty much um, cursed them in a way. Because they wouldn't build his temple, so God allowed God didn't you know God allowed uh there there to be no rain. Uh, he allowed he, he uh you know allowed there to be no crops or nothing. So they basically it was you know God he pretty much sent a um a famine on the land and allowed crops to die. He and he didn't you know and there was no rain, so he, he stopped the rain from from falling because they wouldn't build his house. It says, um, and I have called for a drought on the land and in the hills, and the grain, and the new wine, the oil, and all, and on what the ground brings forth, on man and beast, and all of their labors. So that's why I just said, you know, he sent a famine on the land because they wouldn't build his temple, and so he sent a famine on, on the land until, until they did, until, until they did build his temple. The people obeyed the Lord. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shilti and Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priests with all the remnants of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God, who is Christ, and the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord their God has sent him. And the people feared the Lord. And Haggai the messenger of the Lord spoke to the people with the Lord's message, I am with you, declared the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel the son of Shilti, governor of Judah. And the spirit of Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and worked on the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. On the twenty-fourth day of the month, in the sixth month, in the, year, in the second year of Darius the king. Darius was, of course, um, he was the king of Babylon at the time. Which He's the one that sent, um, or he, he's the king of Persia, my bad. He's, he's the king of Persia that attacked Babylon. And once he, once he destroyed Babylon, he sent the Jews back. To Israel to rebuild the nation to rebuild the second temple. So that's going on. So what's going on at this time? So that's chapter one. I'm about chapter two here shortly.